brilliant match of football. Uh, everybody was not in the stadium, missed something, I guess. Um, yeah, brilliant to watch. What an energy, what quality, and of course some 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 mistakes. Um, I think we started excellent, very very good. We're one nil down out of nothing because we did two three big mistakes right in the beginning. So we got punished uh, by individual quality. Then concede a, a second one, which makes the, the task very very hard. There were a lot of, uh, I think, a lot of reasons maybe to say this is not our day and this is uh, today too hard for us. But the, the team did not give in, and uh, Kova's goal brought brought the belief back, brought the energy back into stadium, and brought all the quality back again. So there was almost a perfect comeback in first half with a third goal from in the very end, in the in the transition. Yeah, it was a nice match of football and a, a lot of positive things to to take from. Are you still firmly of the opinion that you should have been playing against ten men after just six seconds? Well, if you remember the first game with the same referee and how quick how quick it was to to give the red card to us in this game, and and you remember that uh, that I said why not take the time to check it and why, and and I'm not a friend of early red cards and and I hate to say it because I love I love money and and uh, he should always be on the pitch because it's it's uh, it's it's a nice guy and he's a top 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 player. But it is a red card. I'm sorry. It is a red card. The elbow is in his in the face, and it's, it doesn't matter if you do this after 20 seconds or 20 minutes. It's 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 a red card, and uh, you know we come from uh, a game against Brighton where we miss VAR calls for handball in 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 the box for penalty against Christian Pulisic, and then suddenly VAR is checking a goal from Mateo Kovacic, where uh, I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, this is it's hard to take in a in a game like this. Hard to take. But did we you, did, and that's the positive thing. What did you make of the character your players showed, though, having gone two nil down, clear their heads to get themselves back in? To yeah, this is so hard because you can get punished with every counter attack if you increase the risk, and, and of course we needed to. And uh, and still they are they are strong, they were strong, and um, yeah, it it would be nice to to also inject from outside some some have the possibility to, to have substitutes who, who even give more energy but in the moment and, and improve and improve but in the moment it's like oh we have another problem so we try to whatever put us be on a new position make a Christian Pulisic who was so strong up front make him play wing back because uh, because of another injury from from Trevor Chaloba that that these are the last percent that missing in the moment and and nobody is to be blamed it's it's just like this and it's not an excuse but i i get the feeling that we start with teams in the back three and we never end with the same back three because of uh, because of the situation how it is and and of course then then you cannot expect that you escape the pressure always in the same in the same fluid and the same fluidity and and in the same quality it's simply like this what would you say about the quality of your two goals Oh, nice goals, no? I mean, the That's first nice. one. I mean, the first one was absolutely brilliant, and uh, but also the second one was very difficult, I think. And Puli had a brilliant finish. Um, yeah, uh, overall it was uh, was uh, was joy. I think to be in the stadium was also joy to 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 coach it. Was was high level, and it was on the edge. It could have gone uh, either way. Of course, uh, we had chances for the third. We needed Edu with some big saves uh, to not concede the third. So, good afternoon, good Sunday afternoon, and in, in New Year. Apart from not taking all three points, in terms of trying to close the gap, what does a point do? No, not really close it, no. I mean, we have too many draws in general at home and, and we don't feel really lucky um, uh, in the last matches, in the in, 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 in way matches go. Uh, but okay, we, 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 it does not make sense to, to look uh, so much back and does not make sense to... to to, to ask too much, we should have won here and should have won there, and then this is a draw too much. Today is we, we have to focus on, on, on today, and, and and from today learn what we what we what we can do tomorrow. And I think there are a lot of positive things. The results take care. I mean, uh, of themselves, we play with this quality and energy is, is it will come back. We started the day talking about Romelu Lukaku. Yeah, there's probably just two questions that Chelsea fans want to know. Has he apologised? And also, is there a way back for him here at Chelsea? This is our player. This is always a way back, but we will we will clear this uh, in in Cobham and behind closed doors. And uh, once we have made a decision, club, coach, then uh, and once Romelu knows, uh, then you will 
maybe no also <laughs> Has and you not apologized? before and not before no this is this this is not this is not uh, is not to be discussed now we, let, let's wait some days and then we give you more information